Ahoy, land lovers, it's me, your valiant Captain Vasco. And we'll go back to Knack, where last time we encountered the first of the slimy oil. I'm pretty sure that was the last episode. I guess this is what happens when you record a bunch in a row. Uh, we also encountered some evil robots, and then some friendly robots, like this guy. Hello, friendly robot. I punch you. He had that coming, I promise. Alright, let's slide. Oh, I'm not sure I like where that's going. Okay, still not really much in the secrets. Oh, no. Wait, what actually hit me there? Didn't look like the club guy got that close to me. Ugh, arrows guy. Haha. <laughs> totally actually dodged that. I'm trying to get the hang of it. It just, for something about it, feels weird. It's, the timing is very precise. I think that's what it is that makes that feel so much worse than... Something like God of War, which has a very similar type of control to it. But like, the timing in that game... Well, it's two things. One, the timing in that game isn't quite as precise in most situations. There are definitely scenarios in God of War where it's very difficult to time a dodge correctly. But at the same time, in God of War, you can take, like, a huge pounding. So if you miss the occasional, uh... Uh, dodge, then it's not game over. It's not literal game over like it is in this game, like, half of the time. Which is my biggest frustration, as I've already talked about. Legos! No, still didn't grow up. I wasn't actually talking about the game, I'm just a child. That's it. We found the goblin hideout. <laughs> How weirdly idyllic. Ryder, can you hear me? Loud and clear, Doc. We found a goblin village. Looks like the one we're after. Head due north from our landing spot about ten clicks and meet us there. Roger that. See you there. That's it? You didn't tell him how to get through the mine? Oh, with his skills, he'll beat us there. Even if he has to climb five mountain peaks to do it. Nearly there, Nack. Ready. I've called the rest of my troops. I'll see you outside the village. Man, if you want to meet us over there, then why are you going back the way we came? That seems weird. Maybe he's rendezvousing with the rest of the troops so that we have to fight everything. There we go. We're definitely pretty big now. Oh, I don't even need that now. That's depressing. Maybe I should use a charge here. I am a tornado of destruction! It seems like uh, at least the tornado gets more powerful when you're larger, which makes sense because that seems to be based on how many relics you have. Um, I don't know if that applies to the other ones, like the the ranged attack blast and like the explosion. Both seem to work a little bit differently. At least that's the impression I have. Ugh. Dodging these sucks. Punch. Ah. Stupid explosions. Uh, yeah, I, I talked about some of, like, the battle damage, especially when you're small. When you get bigger, it seems like you'll often have, like, little sort of, like, sparks of electricity coming off of you in places where you're damaged. It's kind of interesting. Oh, good. Nack, would you get this elevator going again? Come on. Seriously, like, every time I get big enough to be, like, really wrecking people, I instantly have to, like, become small Nack again. God, am I like tiny knack now? I'm like baby knack? That's terrible. Alright. The goblin village is across this lake and up that cliff. We're almost there. But yeah, like the whole like continuous like levels slash world thing, that's really cool. I like that. Come in. Oh, it's Bird again. Dang it, Bird. Tried really hard. The the jump attack when you're small is especially terrible. Which I need to remember. Because it is... Even though it's, like, really hard to use, I feel like jump attack is, like, my go-to thing. Just because of how hard it is to, like, dodge the attacks up close if you're on the ground. Interesting... I like that the enemies have, like, instantly scaled down again, so that we can fight as Tiny Nack. And I'm, like, half sarcastic about that, but also sincere, because it really sucked to be fighting the same, like, giant enemies as Tiny Nack. 
Talk about instant death. Okay. Oh, you guys are explodey beetles. That's cool. It's not cool, I don't like that. Mmm, still no more like secrets or anything. See, these guys actually look very similar to the exploding beetles, so it's kind of easy to confuse them, in my opinion. So I'm always like really like wary of all of the beetles that show up, but not all of them are actually that dangerous. Again, considering like how little health you generally have, basically everything is somewhat dangerous. Come at me, beetles. This isn't going well. Ugh, God, with the damage. I thought I had that. I, th I thought I was actually doing alright that time. There we go, got that guy. Trying not to have those, like, death pitfalls be a factor at all. There we go. Jump attacks for moderate success. More beetles! Oh, screwed up. I screwed up! Alright, they've luckily opened a very tiny doorway. Exactly my size. Haha, <laughs> enjoy the bottom of that cliff. Can I break this? Ooh, stairs! Stairs are like my favorite. What do we get? That is new. What is that? Aqua Relic. Using the power of Aqua Relic, Snack can increase the strength of his punch to its maximum. Oh, just... They're all the same. You just get a bunch of them, and then you do something different. That's kind of cool. Uh, can you only have one of these equipped at a time? I mean, I haven't finished any of them. So it's not super relevant. Also, uh, I've seen, uh, I was looking at, I suppose I can point this out. Crystal Relics, blah, 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 you're awesome. Oh yeah, you can change to different versions. So I guess you can probably have like water and fire and maybe like electricity or something. Uh, but in the pause menu, there's receive item. Now I heard that there's like a Knack app that you can get on like tablets and phones maybe. Um, and I guess if you do stuff in that, then you can like earn items in game. So that's kind of cool. I don't know if they're, like, the really sweet stuff, like, the things that help you, uh, complete machine parts or whatever. But, either way, seems like a nice addition. Ah, these ones are bombs! These ones are bombs! One, one even came from behind me. That's such a low blow. Yes, feed me all your Legos. I'm sick of being very short. Yeah, double jump. Ugh. This again. Okay, completely superfluous, like, oily surface. That's cool. One of these is just gonna, like, drop me right in a pit, isn't it? I just know it. No, don't, don't... Whoa, this bird is different. Somehow I didn't notice this before, because I think I fought one of those. Dang it. Haha! Managed to reduce the amount of damage I took there. Come on. Alright. Is this something? This maybe looks breakable. No. With the rocks here, it's kind of hard to tell. They're all very, like, cracked and craggy sort of thing. Slide! Something has to happen here, right? Oh, good. What even? What? Hang on. I want this. Well, I don't need that. That was a waste. Alright, I'm just gonna... Oh, enemies are coming from the left now. Okay. Oh, I got everyone. Okay. The ranged attack is really sweet. I really wish that there was, like... Like, a, a, a ranged attack, you know... You have to manually aim it. It doesn't do a ton of damage. But it would really just be nice to have an option to not have to be close to enemies if you're low on, like, sun energy. Like, that just feels really crappy to me. Try and take out the archers first, because they're more annoying. Combining the the air or the the dodge with the the jump is actually somewhat handy. Every now and then, when the professor shows up, it freaks me out a little bit. I'm like, ah, it's a polo shirt goblin. 
Maybe it's the same type of bird and it actually just has a second attack it never used before? I can't really tell. Hello, friends. Just kidding. I don't like goblins. Just like Nag doesn't like goblins. I think that's why I'm in charge. Uh, now for those of you who aren't, who, who don't know that much about this game, I haven't tried it yet, but there is a multiplayer mode for this game. Uh, I don't know exactly how that works. I know second player is like a, quote, robot version of Knack, which always sounded weird to me, because Knack seems fairly much like a robot. Ugh. Dodge guy. Oh, God, what the... How did I not end up on the cliff there? Got you a little bit, and a little more, and now you're dead. Yeah, I would definitely, I would definitely like this game more if either the enemies did less damage, or if they, or if like the the small like health power up uh, versions of like the Lego things were more prevalent. Like if you could just refill your health like somewhat more often. Like it's just, everything just feels almost like instant death. And, like, I'm not even sure that would bother me as much if the game didn't pretend like that wasn't the case by having, like, a health meter. Like, that just seems weird to me. Ugh. Wow, how did I not take damage from that? That was reasonably impressive. At least to me. Of course, those of you playing along at home might just be laughing at me. I deserve it at this point. I'm, I've proven, proven pretty handily that I, I don't really know what I'm doing. Ooh, is this stairs? Ooh, it's stairs again. This is the most exciting part of this game to me, is the stairs. Combo meter part. It's my second of this. Cool, I'm getting somewhere. I have the first and last part of it. Yeah, I don't know if, uh... I don't know if you can only have one of those things equipped at a time, but again, I'm, I'm not particularly close to having any of them done, so... It doesn't really make that much of a difference either way. Not for the moment. Hopefully I finish one of those before the end of this game. I honestly have no idea how long this game is. I'm gonna be playing it until I'm done with it, so got that going on. Almost <sighs> there. We can check out the Ooh. goblin fort from the top of that rise. You know, maybe I should spend a little more time staying in shape and a little less time inventing things like you. <laughs> it's a mystery. I can see the tanks, but nothing that looks like a major metalworking operation. There's no way the tanks were made here. The gate's open. Let's go down there and take a look around. What? It's time to wrap this up and go home. We're certainly not going to learn anything more by standing around up here. Lucas, you wait over here until we know that it's safe. Nack, look after him. Are you sure it's wise to go in there? They have to know we're coming. If it wasn't wise, I wouldn't be doing it. <laughs> huh. I'm seeing a tremendous number of relics that way. It must be everything they stole from the outpost and then some. that about this being a wise plan? We, uh, having second thoughts about that yet? Who are you? And what are you doing in my village? You attacked a human settlement. Did you think there would be no consequences? <laughs> consequences? The consequence is I got lots of relics and sunstones and other good stuff. And some unexpected visitors. Are you all they sent? We're enough. The high-tech armaments of these robots are more than capable- These tanks are very impressive pieces of machinery. We were wondering- Where I got them, is that what you're after? Won't say, but since you're so interested in them, let me give you a closer look. Ah! Well, it's not much of a closer look if you're gonna shoot something from a distance. See, I, I feel no closer to the tanks than I was a moment ago. Six 
Secure the gates! Does anyone else think it's kind of weird that Knack isn't much of a strong character in this game named after and presumably about him? So far all of the stories come from the humans. It's a little weird. Alright, I guess we're gonna have to find another way in, if the chapter title is to be believed. And on that note, I think we'll end for today. Hope you've enjoyed it. Hope that uh, you'll join me for the next one. And if you do, I'll see you then.